Hi, in this video I want to talk about JIRA hierarchy levels. There is a lot of confusion surrounding this topic, so I want to tackle this and show you what are the default JIRA hierarchy levels and what can you do about it, how can you extend them. This video is part of our effort to deliver the high quality learning materials for JIRA confluence and apps surrounding the ecosystem. If you want to support this effort, then consider subscribing to the channel and of course you can always reach out to us for paid services that we do offer in these areas. And now back to JIRA hierarchy levels. So JIRA out of the box will present to you basically three levels of issues. So you will have Epic at the top, then you have Task uh, in the middle, it can be also a user story, it can be a bug, these are all the same kind of issues. And then at the lowest level, the third one is subtasks or are subtasks. So these are the three basic levels that Jira has to offer. Now, why isn't it enough in some cases? Well, because sometimes you want to go above the epic. Maybe you want to add an initiative that will be situated above the epic. Maybe a feature, maybe something entirely different, which I will explore in this video moving on forward. Now, before I do that, though, I want to show you a little bit um, a little bit more about the basic hierarchy levels and show you what I don't really like about it. So if you look at the issues that I, that I currently have in my instance, actually let's start over here, you will see that I have one epic, you can see by the icon, I have a task and I have two subtasks. Perfect, so I have this view over here, we know about this hierarchy, where do I see this hierarchy over here? Do I see it somewhere over here? Not really, right? It's just a flat list of issues. I can see that there is an epic. I know that it's connected to the task, although it's not presented to us here by default in the view that we have. And I know that those subtasks actually belong to the task. I know that because I've created them, right? But any other person, just by looking at this list, it's not obvious, is it? Okay, so, Maybe this view is not perfect. Let's move to a different one. Let's go to our backlog, for example. So let's imagine that you're working with a board and you have a look at the backlog and now you can see, okay, there is my task over here. Now again, where are my subtasks? Where is, that, where is the epic connected to the task? Well, actually, here is a little bit better because if you expand the epic view, you can see that I have an epic over here, build a new video course. And if I expand it, I can see that there is one issue inside and this one issue will be that task. Also, if I click on the task, I can see the subtasks listed over here. So that's a little bit better, although still I need to dig deeper uh, to actually see that. And if I would have like 10 different tasks over here with subtasks, I would have to go and click each and every one of them one by one to see what are their children. Not a perfect solution again. Also, if you go to the roadmap view, um, this one is a little bit closer to what I have in mind because you have the epic over here, you can expand the epic, you will see the task, but again, you don't see the subtasks unless you click on the task and then um, an additional window on the right hand side here appears and then you can see, okay, this uh, task has two subtasks. All right, good. So what if you would like to now expand our hierarchy level in Jira. What if you want to have something above the epic? Is it doable? Yes, absolutely it is doable. I will show you how to quickly do that and work with it using Big Picture, one of our favorite tools for project management inside the Jira environment. Now I'm not saying that it cannot be done with the roadmaps that you see over here. With advanced roadmaps you can actually add um, additional levels to the hierarchy over there as well. But I still think that Big Picture does it better. It is more flexible, it allows you to configure it per Jira project, for example, not per the whole instance. So it's, uh, it's definitely something to uh, keep an eye on in the future. Maybe roadmaps will add something like this, who knows. But for now, we definitely have it in Big Picture and it works like a charm. Let me walk you through this. So to expand or extend this um, hierarchy level, that is by default presented in Jira, you will of course need another level created. So I already did that. And now if I will go to my project settings um, over here and I will expand the issues section right here, just waiting for it to work. 
There we go. Almost. Almost. There you go. Now we have issue types over here on the left, and you can see that this is my current list of types. I have several of them, but I need something that I can put above the epic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here, edit issue types, and I'm going to add from my predefined other Jira issue types. And of course, you can create your own. Actually, your Jira admin can create your own. So I have an initiative over here. Um, I have what else could be a good candidate over here? Face, for example, over here. But actually, I'm going to use the product because I like it and it has an, an interesting blue icon. So let's add product to our spectrum of Jira issues that we can that we want to use, and we will assume that the product will go above the app. That's the idea in our head. Okay. So let's save it, and after saving it, we will now be able to work with the new issue type. So again, if I will just add it over here, it will show itself in a flat structure and uh, it, it won't really do anything in terms of the Jira hierarchy levels unless we use an additional tool to work with it, like advanced roadmaps or like big picture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to visit the big picture instance that I have over here. And inside the big picture view, you will see that Let's go back to the Gantt. You will see that on the Gantt, I already have uh, the bunch of tickets created over here. And let me expand this view a little bit. Maybe time, actually, let's make the icon a little bit more so that we, we, we can see what we have over here. So, so that epic that I had over there, that task that I had, that th those two subtasks, you can see that they are present over here and Big Picture shows them actually in the hierarchy view. So I can immediately okay, immediately see, okay, this task is connected to the epic. Okay, these two subtasks are children of this task. So that's what my hierarchy looks like. Perfect. So what if I would like to now add a new task to my Jira issues? And I would say that I want to add a product that we've just enabled for our, uh, for, for our case. And uh, we will say build or creating a video training platform. And that's it. So let's do that. A new issue should appear in our Gantt-like view. There we have it at the bottom. We will actually move it now to the top, just like that. And what I will do is I will take the epic over here and I will say now, I want to indent this epic under my product. Okay, and the hierarchy has been updated. Now, this is not all that happened. So this is already awesome, right? You can see how quickly I was able to add a new hierarchy level and how quickly I was able to connect it to the epic. But now you, you might ask, okay, so this happens here in the big picture view, but does it actually also uh, add anything that can help me, my colleagues, trace this connection somewhere outside of this view? The answer is yes. So if I click on the product now and just open it in the standard Jira issue view screen, you will see that my product, creating a video training platform, you can see that this is the icon of the product, has linked issues. And it says that this product is a parent of our Epic Build a New Video course. So it is connected. If I go to the Epic, so the other side of the, of the link, you will see that this Epic is also linked to the product, and it says this, this epic is a child of this product, creating a video training platform. So it beautifully works both ways. You can also see that this epic has child issues, which is a task, and of course, if I go lower to the task, you can see that there are subtasks over here as well. Magic, right? Um, another cool thing that I like about the approach over here is that I can also do this. I can go over here, and I can create a bunch of tasks from a template. There you go. So with just one click, I created a whole bunch of new tasks under my Epic that kind of define how I'm going to keep working while building a new video course over here. So I will make a list of videos, I will write detailed content of every video, I will script the videos, and so on and so on and so on. They are beautifully placed in time. If I want to now, I can link them together like this, and just, oh, that, that was actually 
a bad link because the, these tasks were supposed to be overlapping a little bit. Doesn't matter, right? So you know how quickly you can progress from your higher um, level of the hierarchy to the lowest level. And another question is, can I build only one level above the epic? What if I need two levels, three levels, maybe more? Sure, you can build basically as many as you want, as long as the picture is configured properly to display all of those levels and connect them beautifully with Jira issue links, which by the way can be configured. So if you don't like my type of link that I'm using over here, you can use your own and you can build your own hierarchy with your own links, with your own names. That's how powerful this tool is. That's why we love it so much. If you want to learn more about Big Picture, we have dedicated courses for Big Picture. So if you want to get the train, training inside a um, Big Picture area, definitely uh, talk to us and let us know what you need. If you are new to the tool and you're, for example, looking for someone to help you implement the tool in the organization, we are experts in these areas and we can definitely help you with that. Um, any, any kind of information you want regarding these tools, reach out to us through um, the contact details that will be in the description of these videos are also floating around somewhere over here. And that will be all from my side and I'll be seeing you in one of the next videos. Thank you so much.